here it says, the illusion spell. Aha! The necessary component is the tusk of a boar. Have you brought me something to eat? Uh, put it with the other plates. If I have time, I'll eat it later. What are you doing down here? Research. So, don't touch anything. I've got it all perfectly organized. Do you have to do your work down here? Alchemy is dangerous. It's not something you do in a crowded street. You don't want people juggling your elbow or stealing your secrets. Besides, it's quiet down here, most of the time. Can I learn alchemy? Ha! <laughs> Young people, I want to learn centuries-old skills in an instant. It doesn't work like that. Alchemy must be respected. It demands time, concentration, and skill. So there's nothing you can show me? I didn't say that. I can show you a few principles. But don't think you'll be able to start research and experimentation straight away. May I buy potions from you? Yes, yes, I have an abundance of everything. Almost everything. Actually, my potion supply is very limited at the moment. I'm waiting for a new delivery of ingredients, you see. I have to find a list of ingredients for Master Illumar's test. Can you help me? Ingredients? Is the old man experimenting with potions once more? I do hope not. He was never happy that he lacked my skill. Illumar should stick to scrolls. He's a master of those. Can you help me get the ingredients for his scrolls? Can I deal with a test set by Master Illumar? You're right to come to me. The scrolls and potions have some things in common. Both contain power, which anyone can tap. All that is needed for either a scroll or a potion is the correct formula, the ingredients, and a little knowledge. Yes, and can you help me with the ingredients? <laughs> I was brewing potions when you were learning to crawl. Scrolls as well as potions? Uh, scrolls? Oh, yes. Yes, I once worked on a polymorph potion. I studied the Illusion Scroll for that, as I recall. I probably still have it here somewhere. So you know about the Illusion Scroll? Well, I did. Knowledge fades when unused. There is a book about it around here. I forget where. If you can find it, by all means, read it. But please, don't mess things up. Will you set a test for me? A test? I have to seek each master and pass a test for them. Oh, well, I'm not really prepared. Let's see, perhaps you could... No, what am I thinking? That's a bad idea. Bad idea or not, I have to take a test. Yes, but you also have to learn. Progressing up the order isn't everything. Testing and learning, the two aren't the same. I can learn later. Later? Later? You need to see the whole picture to know anything. What use is knowledge without wisdom? Education without insight? Whatever happened to people taking time to learn arcane skills? You must prepare your mind. Ready yourself before you take a test. Now will you set my test? I'm keen to learn more of the order. Hmm. First, we need to consider what you might be good at, eh? Whatever you set, I will do. Well, you have self-belief. Let's see if you have the skill, or maybe just the luck, to pass. Then what test do you suggest? Never have I met someone so keen to be tested. A test. I will give you a test. It won't require training you don't have, but it could be dangerous. I sent two novices to bring me some plants. Specific plants. 
The novices have not returned. Your task is to find them and bring me the plants. That is your test. Searching for novices, how hard can that be? It is a test. If you doubt there is a challenge to it, then maybe you have failed it already. The two novices I sent failed to return. Or have you forgotten that? What do I do when I find the novices? Send them to me, and make sure you bring me the plants. What are the novices called? Sirius, and oh, what was it? Ah yes, Craven. I sent them to the forest at the foot of the mountain. That's where I suggest you commence your search. Which plants do you need? I have a list of them for you. I don't suppose you could give me that list? Of course, of course. Now, where did I put it? Aha, here it is. All the plants I require. How can I leave the monastery? Through the gate. How else? The gate is locked. Ah, yes, I can see that would be a problem. Talk to Ignatius. He'll be able to help. What can you teach me? You need the tusk of a boar to create an illusion. Excellent. Uh, to create a nautilus scroll, all you need is an old empty nautilus shell. Where can I get writing materials? Not from me. I'd go and see Erlan. I'm looking for a quill. My quill's pretty worn out. Enzo has got some. But the git will want a lot of gold for them. I need to find the ingredients for all the spells in the first runic seal. You think I've learned that? I only know the ingredients for the light spell. What do I need for the light spell? A couple of gold coins. Gold coins? That's what it says in the book. I talk to the other novices and get your nose into every book you can find. Right. Thanks. Can I help? I'm working on creating scrolls. I'm doing the basics. Try the book stands in the school. Yeah. Will make sense. I'll do that. Who else can tell me the ingredients needed for scrolls? Well, you could try Jarvis and Ash. Or if you're feeling bookish, there's always the library. And there's Enzo. He knows a lot. If he can help, why haven't you asked him the answers? I'm not speaking to him. Why aren't you speaking to Enzo? It's a long story, but let's just say I took something of his. So, you're a thief. I didn't know it was his turkey. You've fallen out over a turkey. You obviously don't know how hard it is to find turkeys here. I didn't know it was his. You thought it was a random, ownerless turkey. I feel guilty already, all right. If it was easy to replace it, I'd have given Enzo a dozen back, and we'd be friends. If I find a turkey, I'll bring it to you. I don't think you'll just stumble on one. I think I've handled bigger jobs than finding a turkey. I need a quill. A word of warning, don't ask Enzo for one. He has some, but he'll screw you over. Try Casper. He's a novice, but he's got lots of goods. He might have some quills. I know the ingredient you need for a Nautilus scroll. Great, I'll trade you. What spells do you need to know the ingredients for? Can you tell me what I need for a jest scroll? For this spell, you need a pearl. Right. To create a Nautilus scroll, first you need an empty Nautilus shell. I should have thought of that myself. I 
I've read all the books. Yes, I see the truth in your eyes. You have gained the knowledge you seek, but there is one more step. To join the Convocation, you must first obtain a crystal. What sort of crystal? For now, a fire crystal should suffice. I sent the novice Nathan to the ruins outside the monastery with just such a crystal. However, he has not returned. Find him, and you will find the crystal. So Nathan went to these ruins with a powerful magical crystal, and disappeared. And you want me to go into these ruins without a crystal? Precisely. Well, I'm glad we got that clear. I have some questions. Questions are food for the mind. What can you teach me about scrolls? Scrolls are a way of binding magic. Anyone can use them, but once they have been incanted, the scroll loses its properties and reverts to mere paper. If you wish to know more, talk to Master Iluma. Can you tell me about the power of crystals? Crystal magic is the oldest form of magic. It is highly developed. What can you tell me about runes? Runes? Uh, runes are a versatile form of sorcery. The knowledge of how to create runes has been lost, but we can still use them if we open up our spirit. Is there nothing else you can tell me about runes? First, you must acquire a crystal and learn to master it. We shall deal with runes later. Here to find out about the main gate. I need to know when it will be opened. I heard you're in charge of it. Plain speech is useful, but some may consider it rude. No matter. Master Palace will open the gate for you. I have recovered the fire crystal. I never doubted your skills. Once you are ready, we will begin your study of crystal magic. Soon we will be able to accept you into the Convocation of Mages. Master Pallas did not offer me a test. Then he must consider you have progressed sufficiently already. Let us consider that matter over. Halt! There's no admittance to the temple area. What reason do you have for staring at me? Who could teach me to pick locks? There's something here about magic. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Now who could teach me to pick locks? Who could teach me to pick locks? Nothing here worth my time. Nothing new. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Now who could teach me to pick locks? Get out! Yeah! Get out of here! Now who could teach me to pick locks? 
Now who could teach me to pick locks? Do you have a problem with Erla? Problem? No. I merely caught him stealing. I do not wish a filthy thief to taint my path to enlightenment. Erlan didn't know the turkey belonged to you. If he's really sorry, he should buy me a new turkey and all will be well. Now is not the time to talk. Keep your hands where I can see them. Oh, what now? I hear you're a pirate. Yeah, this kitchen can actually float. We only moved it up the mountain away from the sea to do some repairs. Pirates are commonly ruthless killers. Not all of them. And last I heard, Hemla wasn't killed in a boat. I just want to find out what you know. Well, I don't know anything. You're acting suspiciously. You're acting like a loud-mouthed cock. I want the truth. Other people will just go with perception, and you're a pirate. A pirate whose knife was used to kill someone. Doesn't mean I did it. To some people, it'd be enough to earn you the noose. So, do you want to help me find the truth, or get hanged for playing the tough guy? Hell's storms. I'm a cook, not a fucking pirate. I've been a cook for years. I stopped. I came here, I... Oh, for fuck's sake. Hemla was an idiot. He got caught up in stuff. I was trying to help him. I'm listening. He got his deliveries in the cemetery. He used to meet someone there at night. They did deals. He was earning. Thought a few gold coins made him important. I need a name, Harlock. Who was Hemla's partner? He never said. He had his secrets. I don't know. You want to know what his favorite food was? Yeah, I'll tell you. He didn't tell me who he dealt with. You could have told me that earlier. Saved yourself some hassle. Can you get me a turkey? What do you want with a turkey? Can you get one? It's not that easy. They're only for the mages. How much for a turkey? They're hard to come by. It would have to be... 200 gold coins. You sailed with Captain Steelbeard. You're new, and you're full of questions. I don't like either of those things. That's the past. Leave it alone. Here, let me have the turkey. Fuck me! Someone must really want a turkey sandwich. That was destined for Ignatius's belly. Better hope he doesn't come looking for it. Never mind. Do you have a quill or any parchment? Of course. Check in with me every now and then. Blank scrolls always sell well. And, if you need a quill, I have one in stock. Thanks. That could be handy. Master Lumar's test, huh? You know what? I'll give you the quill for free. Thanks. <laughs> Just make sure you buy the parchment from me, okay? Show me what you've got. Stop there, brother. I'm looking for Hemlar's partner. Partner? You think he was, you know, with one of the novices? No, he was dealing Bruegelweed. Oh, 
Well, I wasn't his partner. It wasn't me, if that's what you wanted to know. I heard Hemlar used to come to the cemetery regularly. What do you know about that? He was here, but so were a lot of people. Who did Hemlar meet with in there? No idea. You must have seen something. It was dark. What could I have seen? It was dark. So, someone did come and they came at night. What else? Nothing. Hemlock came here at night. That's all. You're not losing me my job. You're a terrible gatekeeper, you know that. I stand here day and night until my legs drop off. Now I get abuse. It doesn't matter if it's pouring rain or I'm freezing my balls off. I stand here and do my job. If you did your job, you'd know who went in. No one. If I let people in, I'd be back turning over the dung heap. So get it clear. I didn't let anyone in. You will lose your job if I talk to the masters and they have to come down here. Let's try this. You take a bribe and turn a blind eye to what's going on in the cemetery. You've got no proof. And you stink of guilt. I'm screwed, aren't I? If I talk, you've got to put a word in for me with the masters. Tell me what you know about Hemlar. Hemlar was in the cemetery all the time. He met someone there. Who was that? I don't know. Honest. Hemlar always slipped me some weed to look the other way. That's what I did. You know how lousy guard duty is. The only thing I can tell you is that you must have met one of the novices. That's all I was able to make out. Take a look at this list. But I didn't see anything. I told you. It could have been any of the novices. Think hard. Well, you can cross Enzo off. I'd have recognized him. Stinks of scrolls and study. Looks like there's a broom up his ass. It wasn't him. The others... could be. I don't know. Hey, you can't enter here. I don't want to fight, but I can't let you in. I hope it doesn't rain. Come here! Huh? 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 This is not good at all! Stop this right now! Yeah, that should be enough. I've earned this. Cool. And thanks, Marsh. Thanks. <laughs> Stop. I'm part. No. Oh. I heard. What are you? He. Who did? No. You. It was. D it was. What else? Nothing. You're. You're. I. It doesn't. I. If you. No. If I. So. You. Let's. You've. And use. I'm. Um, if I. Tell me. Him. Who. I don't. That's. The only. That's. Take. But I. Well, stinks. It was.
I am allowed to leave the monastery. This is the word of Master Ignatius? Master Ignatius gives his permission. Then the gate shall be open to you from now onwards. I don't think we have anything to talk about, do don't we? Don't you have something to do? supposed to be here. Gotta watch yourself around here if you're not authorized. You guarding this place? The buildings, yeah. We keep supplies here and uh, a lot of stuff from the ruins. I also do a little, you know, trading. I'll get you anything you need for a little gold. It's a win-win situation. I'm sure we can help each other out. I mean, we're friends now, aren't we? Let's trade. I'm Severin. This farm is under my command. Stay away from the buildings and don't question my people. Remember that and we'll get along just fine. Good to know. Are there many ruins around here? Two of them have risen here. Both have been investigated by my men and we took what we could out of them. A good man perished though, in the upper ruins. Lethal place. Don't go near it. Did you manage to get any artifacts from the ruins? We're going to send the crates up to the monastery. We're finished with the ruins here. I'm not risking any more men for a couple of goblets. Besides, I need men here to guard what we found. As long as those thieving gnomes are wandering around. But if you want to take a look at the ruins, on your head be it. What problems are the gnomes causing you? Those little runts would take the armor off your back while you slept. Have you ever seen how they dress? Pockets all over their coats, stuffed full with anything of value. They live to loot. This farm serves as an intermediate camp where we collect everything we've turned up in excavations and in searching the ruins. The Inquisitor would have my hide if I let the gnomes steal what we have gathered here. Can I help you with these gnomes? I'm willing to take any help I can get. There's a group of them camped to the north. If you get rid of them, that would be a great help. What do you know about the other ruins on this island? They're sprouting up like weeds. I had orders to send another group west to recover the artifacts from the ruins up there. Rudolf and his men. I haven't heard from them for quite a while, though. The way things are, I don't even know if they're still alive. Rudolf is dead. I wish I knew what was so important about these ruins. Still follow our orders. I bet Esteban's bandits are behind what happened to Rudolf. There is something in the air. Soon we are going to need every good man. I can feel it. All right. I'll deal with the gnomes for you. That's what I like to hear. A man of action. But keep an eye on your pockets or they'll be in and out before you know it. I've come from Master Cyrus. And? Are they finally ready up there? Can we send up the crates? Yes. Good. Then I'll get things moving. There's something else. Yes? What is it? Master Cyrus wants to have the special artifacts immediately. I'm supposed to take them to him personally. Those are important pieces you're talking about. How can I be sure you won't run off with them? What happened to trusting people? Distrust comes with experience. Why should I trust you? Thank you. 
Cyrus sent me. I know. So? Big dog. Big dog. And what's that supposed to be? A password? Some damn mage speak, eh? Black swordfish. What the hell are you talking about? Is that today's lunch? So, he'll rip my head off if I come back empty-handed. Ah, now that sounds like Master Cyrus. Fine, I'll trust you. You better take the artifacts to him before he gets nasty. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Out! Yeah, get out of here! A little more for me. Hey, come out to see the pigs. Anything much happening out here? We've got grave moths buzzing around everywhere. I can't let the pigs out of my sight. Grave moths eat pigs? If they're hungry enough, they'll eat anything. And pigs aren't known for being able to defend themselves. I'll deal with the grave moths. Thanks. I know they're dirty, but you know, these pigs have got a personality. Don't want to lose any more of them. Are you on your way to the, to the monastery? 
Master Abrax sent me to check up on you. Really? Well, I'm still all right. But I'm, I'm not so sure about my friend Craben. Craben and I were both sent out gathering plants. Oh, God, I, I wish I'd never come to this wretched island. Calm down. Take it easy. What happened? Well, Craben and I were both sent out gathering plants. I know that bit. What happened next? That, that's the thing. I, I remember we decided to s split up. Not the most sensible plan in the world. We thought we'd find the plants faster that way. But, but then I, I heard all these strange noises. Ho horrible they were, and I haven't seen him s since. Did you look for Craven? I'm a n n novice. I, I collect plants and copy m manuscripts. I'm not setting foot in that forest again. I can't go into there and f fight. Whatever is in there, I'd rather stay a novice for my whole life th than be a hero for five, f f f ten minutes. Why haven't you returned to the monastery? B b believe me, if you saw Master Abrax when he was angry, you'd think twice too. I'll keep an eye out for Craven. In the meantime, give me your plants. Why do you want those? Do you want to collect the rest of them? Good point. I I'll gather up a couple of things and be on my way. And for pity's sake, keep to the path. When did you last see Craven? In the forest, just before we sp split up. And when was that? A couple of days ago. I, I d d don't know exactly. I can't help you. Well, I wouldn't go up against them. What do you think the dome will do? Have 
Have you got worms in your head? Right, come on. These things are everywhere. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Now who could teach me to pick locks? You should have fewer problems now. I've dealt with those gnomes. That's one less problem to worry about. You have my thanks. See Reuben about a reward. Why are you in here? I took care of the gnomes for Severin. That's great. Take some gold. Everyone likes gold. Not me, not today. Got any artifacts or potions? Oh yes, I've got everything. Here, take this. Watch yourself. Grave moths are all dead. That's great. The pigs will be happy. I'm Derry, by the way. Derry, guardian of the pigs. That's me. Here. Take some coins. The pigs say thank you.
I can't help you. Take that pretty face Not somewhere now. else. Well, please don't disturb me. I do not wish to be bothered right now. We can talk when you have business. Now be about yours. I need to know the ingredients to make scrolls. Do you have a list of them? No. I expect you'll find something in the library. I got the artifacts from Severin. Good! Good. Hmm. This disc looks peculiar. Ancient. Oh, huh, yes. This may interest Mendoza. You've done well. Does well mean a reward? Hmm. You can take one minor artifact. I'd like that small ruby. A basic red mineral crystal. Mm. Make what use of it you can. I talked to Severin. And? He's sending more crates to the monastery. Good. Time is short. Time is short. I hear you hang around the cemetery at night. Who says? It's where you met your partner, Hemla. That's not true. I had a test to pass there. You've got this all wrong. You should be grilling Taylor. He was always arguing with Hemlar. What do you want? How do I learn about these spell ingredients? Through study. You will find the knowledge you need in books and in the minds of other students. If you help them, I dare say they will be inclined to help you. What are the spells of the first runic seal? There are six spells based on the power of the runes. Magic light and light healing are basic spells for any mage. Telekinesis and transformation into the Nautilus are the most powerful spells. And there is also illusion and jest. Did you say jest? Indeed. You will learn the effect of this spell in due course. For now, concentrate on learning the spell components. I know the ingredient for the light scroll. A very useful scroll. So tell me what is needed to create the scroll. A couple of gold coins. Very good. I know the ingredient for the illusion spell. And that would be? The tusk of a boar. I know the ingredient for the nautilus transformation spell. Please continue. The empty shell of a nautilus. Correct. The spell is very powerful, so those shells are much sought after. I know the ingredient for the telekinesis spell. Go on. You need wing dust. Correct. Very good. I know the component for the jest spell. Which is? A pearl. I'm sure you have things to do. I knew that. 
Nothing here worth my time. Never mind. Not now. brought you your plants. Well, well, that was quick. You have performed well. Consider my test passed. But take this as an incentive to learn. You can go far if you study. Thank you, Master. What news of the novices? Sirius is returning as we speak. I found him near the forest. Good. I think Sirius will need training for further assignments. Here, this is for you. I'm sorry, Craven is dead. A shame, a mistake. I underestimated the danger of his task. Here, this is for your effort. I knew that. What do you want not here? Now. I'm not listening. Sleep in peace. <sighs> what is it? Here, one turkey. I don't believe it. A real turkey. Where did you get it? Okay, okay, no questions. I'll give it to Enzo. Think of it as a turkey of peace. That should clear the air between you. I hope so. Thank you. Look, here's a scroll for you. Could be useful if you find yourself in trouble. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh. What? What? Who's there? Oh. Why did you wake me? <sighs> I need sleep. I'm too tired to talk. Oof, what is it? I've heard that you had arguments with Hemlar. What are you saying? That I killed him? I never touched him. You were seen in the cemetery the night he was killed. So? So? That makes me suspicious. Damn that Hemlar. He's dead and still making my life miserable. Just tell me what you know. Okay, so I saw Hemlar in the cemetery. He was always heading there late at night. 
Rumour was he hid his gold in one of the graves, but turned out he was meeting someone. Didn't see their face. Why were you there? The grumpy bastard was overcharging me for Bruegel. He knew I needed it, and knew I was nervous about getting caught. I wanted to pay him back. So you killed him? No! I was hoping to find out if the rumours were true about the gold being hidden there. So I followed him. But he just had this secret little meeting and left. Went back to his room, and his mystery friend disappeared into the upper part of the monastery. The upper part? Well, naturally, I couldn't follow him. I'm not allowed up there. Turns out that Erlan is a decent fellow after all. So he replaced your turkey? He did. He has obviously found his own enlightenment. All is well once more. I'm sure you have plenty to do. <laughs> what? Who's there? <sighs> what is it? Let's have a little talk, you and me. About what? I know nothing about anything. Well, I know you were supplying weed to Hemlar. That's a lie. You're the only novice with access to the upper area of the monastery and to the cemetery. So? What does that prove? So? So, I have a witness. You keep lying. This will only get worse. First you tell me the truth. No, no, it, you'll get nothing from me. By the flame, I'll fight you to show it's not me. Then draw your weapon. Uh, uh, what? What? Who's there? Yeah. Uh, ah. Ah. What is it? There, we fought. Now tell me what I need to know. All right, all right. I did get the Bruegel for Hemlar, but I didn't kill him. I swear. But you know something about it. I only know Hemlar was being threatened. Maybe someone didn't like him dealing. Who threatened Hemlar? <laughs> no idea. And I don't want to guess. I'm not looking for someone who stole a bowl of stew. Hemlar is dead. I'm looking for a murderer, Ash. You want to know who killed Hemlar? Do you really want to find out? Why do you think I'm here? All right. You sell Bruegelweed yourself. Whoever killed Hemlar will probably come after you. Are you trying to help me or get me killed? All right, give me the Bruegel weed. I can't believe I'm just handing my gear over. Here's the packet. There are ten smokes left inside. You'll have to sell or give away enough rolls to make it clear you're the new dealer. Oh, and Hemlar sold his Bruegel for 50 gold coins a roll. It'd be a good idea to stick to that if you want to avoid hassle. What do I do once I've sold all the Bruegel? That's up to you. Wait, see if the killer does something. Up to you. If you're lucky, they might talk to you. Find out more. Or they might just take their chance. Like he did with Hemla. It'll be when you go to sleep. Or get in a bath. Any time you're off guard, that's when I'd do it. Oh, only it wasn't me, right? Wanna buy a smoke? I gave them to you. 
And I've had enough of that brain melting stuff to last a lifetime. Do you Why want to you buy some Bruegel? Me? Have you got some? After all that business with Hemlar, I thought the supply would have dried up. Here. It's very smooth. I don't know which I prefer. Smoking or drinking. Both agree with me. So I'll do both. <sighs> what? Sneaking Who's around, there? are you? Hey, I'm we'll trying to sleep here. Hey, do you smoke Bruegel? Does Abrax have eyebrows? Of course I do. Hey, well, what? I'm selling Bruegel. Interested? How does a baby face like you get hold of Bruegel? Do you want some or not? If I did, I could just take it from you. Are we gonna talk tough or do business? All right, I'll pay for some. But it better be good stuff. Sleep in peace. Interested in a smoke? No. That stuff rots your mind. It's not for me. Ugh. Oh, why did you wake me? Would you me? like a smoke? Bruegel? You taken over from Hemlar, have you? Okay, I'll take one. How much? For you, 100 gold coins. You're worse than Hemlar. All right, all right, I'll pay this once, but you won't be having my custom again. Stop there, brother. I've got some Bruegel weed. Oh, well, if you don't want it, I'll take it. I'll swap you a smoke for a look around. Agreed? Agreed. All right, you can have a look in there. Just don't tell anyone or get noticed. And stay away from the crypt. And for the sake of the flame, don't touch anything. Stop that. Grave. Rest in peace. A little more for me. In the old days, Berenger, a mage, taught the art of combat, the art of fighting with the staff. He once said to his student, 
I can show you the path, but you must walk it yourself. Now who could teach me to pick locks? something here about magic. I hope it doesn't rain. I've had enough rain. like to buy some Bruegel weed. Well, if you've got some Bruegel on you, I wouldn't say no, but I ain't giving you one coin more than I gave Emla. Fine. What is it? Do you fancy a Bruegel smoke? What? Are you taking over Hemler's business now? I'm trying to draw the killer's attention. Ah, I see. Yes, I will take a Bruegel smoke. Here's your gold. Don't touch anything. Fancy a smoke? Ah. Found Hemlar's stash, did you? Want to go into business, do you? Do you want some or not? Yeah, all right. Give me one roll. But you better know your ass is on the line if you're dealing. Would you like something to smoke? Smoke? You mean Bruegel? Where did you get that? I'll pass. And be careful who sees you with that. Care for some Bruegel weed. The path to enlightenment through that is but fleeting. What? Who's there? Why did you care wake for some me? weed? Not for me. My brain's full already. What is interested it? in some weed? Um. Uh, actually, I'd better not.
I knew that. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Nothing new. Nothing here worth my time. I knew that. Nothing new. I couldn't sleep anyway. Would you like some Bruegelweed? I prefer to keep my mind clear. I would suggest you do the same. Are you trying to take Hemlar's place as a trader of diversion? Or are you here to train as a warrior? I've only taken this role to find Hemlar's killer. Oh, I see. Well, make sure you only play the part. There are many who start things as a pretense, then become them for real. I have found wisdom in combat. You could have told me it was a book. Only a child expects the world to contain straight answers. Even life itself is a riddle. You may keep the book, read it, if you've not already done so. When you're finished, give it to someone else who'll read it. Your test has been successfully completed. Does this mean you will train me? You have proven yourself worthy of instruction. What can you teach me? <sighs> Don't do that again. What? What's wrong? Here, a copy of Wisdom in Combat. Hey, you got it. It was in the cemetery. What was it doing there? They're collecting lots of artifacts and ancient knowledge there. Even in times of turmoil, the Inquisition should respect books. A lot can be solved with books, but that's not your fault. I owe you a favor. What do I need to create a scroll of light healing? Well, for that, the ingredient you'll need is a healing herb. You're going to stand here all day? Please don't disturb me. Now is not the time to talk. You're going to stand here all day. What? 
I know the ingredient for light healing. And it is? Healing herb. You are capable and willing to learn. The theoretical part of your training is concluded. Well done. If you have the necessary experience, I will teach you the skills. Am I ready for the test now? I believe so. I am ready for the test. In order to pass my test, you must create a scroll from the start of the process and without help. I will provide you with nothing more than the rune and the space in which to work. Everything else is up to you. Take this rune of light and begin. How do I create a magic scroll? In order to create a scroll, you require a template, a rune. You will need to copy the magical structure of that rune onto a parchment on a rune table. In order to fix the magic in the parchment, you will need specific ingredients depending on the spell you seek to store. That's done. I have completed the scroll, Master. Hmm, I see. Yes, well, not bad. The scroll has indeed stored the rune's power. You have passed your test. Of course, you should now be able to create your own scrolls. But should you need some pre-prepared scrolls, I may be able to help. Not got better things to do. What is it? I'm sure you have plenty to do. Now, who could teach me to pick locks? Keep your hands where I can see them. What do you want here? Not a smith. Do you need something to smoke? Some spiritual preparation for the upcoming fight. Why not? I'll smoke whatever you've got. I've sold all the Bruegel weed. And now what? Now I wait for the killer to come and see who's been stealing his customers. You do remember Hemler ended up dead? Well, it's your neck. You really want to draw him. Be somewhere out of sight. You know, in out of the way places. Any suggestions? I don't know. Maybe the washroom? Why did you do it, lad? Do what, Master Eric? Couldn't you have come to me first? You really don't understand, do you? I understand you're looking for a business opportunity. Maybe we should find one together. Not after what you did. You have no idea. No idea what's happening beyond this island. Then why did you kill him? All I wanted was my share. For helping him find clients, for turning a blind eye. I needed that gold to get back to the mainland. 
I have to find them. So what's happening on the mainland? I may never know now. It may be too late. Too late for any of us. The Bruegel was my last hope to get home. Their last hope. I'll cut you! <laughs> You not got better things to do? And it is he you the f if you how do in all you will in all am I I believe. I am in a, I take That's finished that I have mm, well the you have, of course And now what? Now you do you root any I don't Why did you do what? Couldn't you? you. I am not up. You have no. Then why? All sir. I'm a the Bruegel was. I'll cut you. Ha! Yeah. Oh. Huh. Ah. Oh. Not what? Do what? I couldn't you? you? I am not up. You have no. Then why? All so I'm the brute. I'll cut you. I know for sure who killed Hemlar. Master Arik. Hemlar owed Arik for the Bruegel he'd supplied and Hemlar wouldn't pay. Seems Arik was desperate for gold to get back to the mainland. Desperate enough to kill? I didn't think he could do something like that. Have you told Vitus? No, not yet. You have to tell him. Arik, of all people. That's going to cause a stir. Enough. Enough. Very well. I thought you were different. 
that you could see what's really going on here. I'm just doing what I can to survive. As was I, lad. I'm not interested in your motives, Eric. I hope one day you get the chance to understand. Self-pity doesn't suit you. What? You seem excited. I found Hemlar's killer. Are you certain? Yes. It was Master Arik. Hemlar owed him for the Brugalweed he'd supplied. He killed Hemlar, and would have killed me given the chance. What have you done with Arik? Nothing. He's still alive. What should happen to him now? We will deal with him. You have done good work. Do I receive a reward? You have shown insight and service, both of which the Convocation rewards. Use your insight. Choose your reward. My strength in combat will be the Convocations. So it shall be. So, Arik murdered Hemlar. While gold never rusts, it seems it always corrupts. He would have done us all much harm if you hadn't found him. Removing him has proved your worth. I have completed Master Abrax's test. Another step along your chosen path. I delivered the artifacts Master Cyrus required. A job well done. Those artifacts may reveal secrets important to our future. I have solved Master Vitus's riddle. His teaching methods are unusual, but effective. Master Illumar has taught me how to create scrolls. An art which may save your life. I hope you paid close attention. I have completed the tasks you set me. Yes. I heard from my brother mages that you did well. You are ready for initiation. We must make the necessary preparations. What sort of preparations? The initiation requires you to carry a mage's staff. Carlson can provide you with one. Go to him. Return here and I will accompany you to the Hall of the Flame. Master Ignatius, what will be expected of me at the initiation? The Inquisitor will ask you some questions, but do not worry, it is not a test. Simply answer as your intuition tells you to. Then you will swear fealty to the Convocation of the Holy Flame. And that is all I will need to do? That is all. Heard about Arik? What about him? He's run off. Where to? No one knows. Well, if he's smart, he won't come back anytime soon. Is it true about Arik? They're saying... Yes. He killed Hemlar. Who's going to train us now? What about you? You can train people. Me? I'm only a recruit. But the Order still needs someone. It's important that training continues. The mages will never allow me to take over. Maybe I can help there. We're getting hot flushes. 
Don wants this, the Inquisitor wants that. What about what we want? Yeah, I should have thought of that. Oi, what's your game? Master Ignatius sent me. I need a mage's staff. You got far fast. A member of the Convocation now. That's pretty incredible. Well, here's your mage's staff, and well done. Thanks. Don't thank me. Only way that's gonna save your life around here is if you know what to do with it. There you are. Are you ready for your initiation? I am ready. Then follow me to the Hall of the Flame. something here about magic. Interesting. Now who could teach me to pick locks? The Protectors of the Holy Flame are gathered so that you can take the Oath of the Convocation. Have you been tested? Yes. Are you prepared to take the Oath? I am. Then it begins. Will you honor the Holy Flame, the Convocation and its laws? I will. The honor of the Convocation must be defended. I will fight against our enemies. We fight for humanity, for our people. They rely upon our strength. They are mine. Ignorance is our enemy. I shall bring knowledge. Weakness of purpose is our enemy. I shall not falter. Through your oath, you are bound. To the Convocation. Your path through life is now tied to the Convocation of the Holy Flame. Loyalty and honor will be my companions. The word which you proclaim in our name will be true. Your word will be our judgment. You bring mercy. You bring justice. As a warrior of the Order, you will fight for us with staff and fire. Wear this armor as a symbol of your oath, a sign to others of your commitment. The ceremony has sealed our bond. You are now one with the Convocation. I am ready for what this brings. Good. Then you will work for me. Starting immediately, you are now subject solely to my direct orders. But am I going to get any answers? In order to understand why I am here, what we are fighting for, you must know certain things. So ask your questions. I do. The gods have left the world. Humanity was supposed to be free. Instead, these storms are sweeping us from the face of the land. These creatures are killing our people. 
But while the holy flame burns strong in this hall, we stand a chance. Let's see if your actions and words match. I will offer you a task. Carry that out, and I shall take it as a sign that the Don can be trusted, that your words are true. Why did the gods leave the world? A mage who wanted to free humanity drove them from this world, and we are at the mercy of what that magic released. What matters now is our survival. You keep talking of a worse threat. What is this threat you fear? The dark wave the mage used to free us from the gods has released other powers, titans. Crossing the seas, they come with the storms. I have seen them. I have witnessed the destruction they bring to humanity. They are everywhere, and we have found no weapon that can stand against them. What are the Titans? Will you follow me and learn? Why is the Holy Flame important? The Flame is a source of magic. The island is protected by its power. Protected? What about the ruins that appeared and the creatures? They are not our prime concern. It is the storms we must worry about. But how can we stop this destruction? As long as the flame burns, this island is safe. And that gives us time. Time to discover why the Titans do not come here. How they may be stopped. Yes. Show me. Good. I have not misjudged you. Follow me and learn the truth. This world, all the lands you know, were once the domain of the Titans, old beings that shaped this world. They are raw forces of nature that were tamed by the deities you grew up knowing. The gods that enslaved humanity. It was man's duty to drive away those gods, to loose our chains, but in that action, the Titans have also been freed. They seek to take this world from humanity. Human, Titan, one must give. It will not be humanity. Follow me and we shall make certain of this. I have fought the Titans, on land and sea, but their magic is old, their bodies incorporeal. We will win this battle only once we know how to use the flame, but for that, we must fathom its mysteries. Come, we must go. The temple ruins contain many secrets. It was in such a temple I discovered the ocular I wear. It shows me the magical currents of the world. The holy flame has its origins in the fire of the volcano, and the currents on this island flow there. It must be tied to the secret of this island's survival. Come, let us go there. us to the source of the holy flame. This gate will lead us to the secret of the storms. Humanity must be defended, and it is the flame 
that holds the key to this. How do we get this gate open? No spell, no brute force can open it. Only the five keys it needs will do. Five crystal discs will open this mechanism. How do you know those discs will open this? I have one of them, and it fits the lock. Unfortunately, the one I have is damaged. The other four missing, but they must be on this island. I came here to seek answers. Those answers are inside this mountain, beyond this gate. You will get me inside. Find these discs. Find them and bring them to me. Is there a faster way to reach this place? Take this teleport stone. It is a valuable artifact from the temples. It will bring you directly back to me. This is your mission. This is your duty. Do not fail it. I will find the crystal discs. The outlaws are looting the ruins. Maybe they found something useful. Look around their camp, talk to their leader, and get me any discs you find there. What if the Don causes problems? He is a man of business. He will negotiate. And if he negotiates, what should I offer him? What he wants. Gold. Tell him he can plunder the ruins he occupies, take whatever baubles he wants. I am only interested in the discs. Inquisitor, will you train me? If you wish, I can instruct you in combat. About the crystal discs. What happened to the damaged disc? It was exposed to the dark wave. The magic released to drive away the gods, and its crystal lost all of its power. Without it, we cannot open the portal. So what was the point in coming here? I think we can repair the missing disc. I sent the mage Cyrus to see to this. How can the disc be repaired? The druid Eldrick is an expert on crystals. He should be able to help us. And he has spent time studying the ruins here. If anyone on this island has the knowledge to repair the disc, it is him. You don't know if he can fix the disc? If you spend your life waiting until you know things for certain, you will learn nothing. I sent Cyrus to the druid, but he has yet to return. You should check on him and see what progress the druid has made. So, you think something happened to Cyrus? We should investigate to make sure we must repair the disc. I will look for Cyrus. Good. See to it. Make sure Eldrick repairs the disc, then bring it to me. But hurry. We do not have much time left. Where do I find this druid Eldrick? He's a hermit. He has a hut on the east side of the island. It is at the foot of the volcano in the shadow of the mountain face. What do druids do? They study magic, draw on the raw, untamed power of nature. This can make them a little strange. They spend their time getting closer to nature, studying animals, avoiding order and civilization. And this druid has the knowledge to help us. Druids are guardians of very ancient and powerful knowledge. Knowledge we need now. Where else should I look for discs, besides the Don's camp? There are no discs in the monastery, but Severin is gathering artifacts at the Inquisition camp outside here, at a place called Tilda's Farm. We can hope he has something there. Talk to Severin. See what they have discovered. What can you teach me? <laughs> 